Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today, a bit of an exciting one for me. We are pulling the rest of the motor out of the S15 as I get the rest of the head back next week. Pull it out, get ready to assemble it, go through all the nitties and gritties, get it ready. In the rest of this video, you guys should see the rest of it going back in. Hopefully it goes well. My car does look very miscolored right now. But we've got a couple of people helping. We've got Jesse behind the camera right now. Let's go. We've also got Wilbo, who's just turned up. Let's pull that damn engine out. That's what I'm saying. Alright, what's going on here, Wilbur? Just getting the shifter assembly out, we've got the whole interior part. Trying not to get the dog hair everywhere. But we've got to get the portal out to make room for the gearbox. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> See the hole? That side. True. Yeah. How'd you get that hole? Ethan Craig found a grass wall and followed it up. Jumped it. Jumped it. Jumped it. Oh my god, that's nice ass. Gearbox is holding up. Nothing on the magenta. Nothing? Nothing on Dude, the Dude, six speed. How long we got, boys, you reckon? Everyone make your predictions. Forever. I've got the same gearbox in my car forever. Forever? It lasts me forever. Six, uh, six speed forever. Jesse? 2024, the year of the six speed. Alright, Jesse, what's your opinion? You reckon let's see where it goes? I reckon you got three months. Three months. I from, reckon... from now or from when it runs? Three months from when the key turns. Alright. Nice. Yep. Nice, Gary. The uh, bonnet we've just taken off to give ourselves a bit more room with this bad boy. Tail shaft and everything else is out. Exhaust is out. I think we're just going to look at points to mount the crane and then pull her out and see how we go. We yeah. can use the, your shoelaces, right? Zip tie them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was actually just going to pick it up myself. We need zip ties and duct tape. No. <laughs> The hard out. Yep. The hard out. Hard out. And at the moment, we are currently taking off the bolts around the bell housing so we can put the motor on the stand. Wait. Yeah. Just want to have it. You know something funny? Loose. Is that how it was? Yeah. Nice. That's the smoky film's guarantee. You know Easy what? to come out bolts, baby. Makes makes our mechanical life actually much easier because we know we have a three month period where they're gonna come back out. So we actually just don't tighten them that much. What uh what uh, uh talk were we talking? Talking? Probably not much. We're probably doing more talk in <laughs> than talking, which is probably the issue. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today we have the SR motor here and we're going to be hopefully getting most of it sort of pulled apart and put together. We've had the new parts come in. If you come and take a look over here. We've got some goodies in here. We've got some fresh oil pumps, new rocker arms, new springs, brand new head, new cam caps. We've got one new cam as well because one of them is pretty badly linished. Um, yeah. Try and get it all sourced today, see what we can get together. Hopefully we can have it together within two weeks because I've already booked an event. Silly, but let's work it out. Join us for the trip. Yo! So guys, we uh, had a mishaps and we snapped a bolt in my flywheel, but kind of check this out. We got lucky. We made it loose first, supposedly. So it's actually roughly finger tight. We, we literally, we put aside like four hours today to try and get this out. We're like, we know it's gonna be difficult. Nothing like this ever goes smoothly, but 20 seconds of looking at it, I went and bought tools to go get it out. Didn't even use the tools. I just got some vice grips onto it. So we cleaned all of the surfaces of all the old sealant maker, 
gasket maker that was on there previously as much and to the best of our ability that we could but we think it's come out pretty smooth compared to what it was pretty clean and we'll show you the top as well yep. but it's coming pretty good and then we did all like the sump and stuff over there as well in the grooves we're paying to clean this but we got them rock cover the rock covers clean, clean. we actually did such a good job on we that. spent some time on that Damn, this took so long it was it was very tedious or well, the upper, upper sump, sump. So. this one not the best but not the worst like there was a lot yeah just it could be way worse put it that way the heads this flat. beautiful mm. yeah plan for today was to spend hours on that now we don't have to so now we have to make my front bumper fit this because it hits on this side with the new front bumper i got on the inner cooler the inner cooler isn't centered mind you the day i crashed it we um put a new inner cooler and stuff on it and you know it wasn't center <laughs> <laughs> But it got me to the track for that day, so. We're back, it's raining, and we need to fix some stuff. Mid-motor build, we come across some issues. I'll go through and show you now. First, let me just move this car out the way so I can get my motor in my working area. Okay, so Will, I and Jesse, we're halfway through the motor rebuild. Um, we pretty much got to the stage of bolting the new head on and then talking the head nuts down. The head bolts decide to shit themselves in the threads. So, you got these threads here, there's 10 of them in total. And I think three of them de-threaded themselves when we were putting the nuts to torque. And now we've had to get a helicoil and install a helicoil in every single one but one of them already had it in it, so we're just gonna leave that one. Welcome back. It is now another day, the day after last night. Took a sleep, went to work today. This is where we got up to last night. Come here, we'll show you through. So, we have installed the head, as you can see. We've put all our rocker arms on, our shims, um, and then obviously our oil lines, our cam caps. We've done the timing, as well as the tensioner we've done. Um, everything is timed correctly now. We're happy with how it is, so now it's just start, time to start kind of putting on accessories. We put on the rocker cover, I got new gaskets and stuff for that. The rocker cover's gonna have to go back off when we start the car. But we're making a whole load, a whole, we are making boatloads of progress. And I'm excited, we're getting closer. Still hoping for two days away, so Friday night, hypothetically, it goes in, goes in here. With that attached to it, with this gearbox on it, and we're gonna start it up, it's gonna work. It's not gonna make any funny noises. Jesse is going to be handcuffed in the corner of the garage so he can't use a spanner and go tick 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 because he tries to do it every single time we start this car up after it breaks. It's not happening. Anyway, anyway, turn me on. Yeah. Good. All right. Inlet manifold is on.
All right, so we have made it to the next day. We all went to bed. It was getting a little bit too dark for us to try and finish things off. Just wanted to make sure we wouldn't just miss anything because it was too dark and whatnot. Come back tomorrow morning. This is what we have left at the moment. We're close. What's going on? We got the motor in? Oh, somehow it's in. Um, what do we have left? Um, motor oil. Hey. That's a big one. Cool on. <laughs> but mostly little things from here. I think tail shaft and that clutch slave are going to be the issues of today. We'll get them sorted and the rest of it's kind of just wiring and finishing off little bits and bobs fans and stuff in here. Get a run in. It'll start first time. No dramas. We'll, um, we'll start the car the first time with the rocket cover off and just let the new oil pump prime. Let it build its pressure. Make sure we've got good pressure all through the top end because I'm not doing this again. I'm over building cars for now anyway. Um, but yeah, let's just get straight into it. Let's get this car started. Woo! Fluids time, baby. We're pretty sure that the motor's 90% Gucci gang, other than the, everything that goes onto the rocket cover area because it's gonna come off. We're gonna crank the motor without the cast connected. See if we can see some oil and whatnot flowing through. Fingers crossed it's all, all good. Put it back in, turn the key. Yeah! Let's do it. All right. Something just pissed. Okay, so it's been like one or two hours since we last spoke to you. We said we're almost ready for the start. And since then, Jesse and I have been battling. It's been terrible, not fun. Let us explain what's going on right now. Jesse, what's been happening? Rolling around in coolant under the car because when we tried to fill it up, it came straight back out. We originally thought that it was coming out of one of the coolant lines under this manifold uh, because the little clip, the little hose clamp on it wasn't like sitting properly. And then so we redid that, filled it up with water and it pissed out again. So we're like, oh, all right. Mind you, getting at those lines with manifolds on do not work. Whoever designed that, bad. Bad you. Bad Continue. you. Continue. Yeah. So we're like, all right, the only way we're going to solve this issue is if we pull off the air intake and find out where this leak's coming from. Anyway, we pull it off and we find out that this gasket here has like a, a coolant gallery on the coming out of the head, but this gasket was flipped upside down and so it didn't have this bottom piece here sealing it, sealing up. it up. So we've found the leak. We've replaced it with a new gasket. Luckily, Aaron had two. I don't know where he got two from. We had two. Flipped it. Put it on. Now we're going to bolt it back up. And hopefully it all smiles from there. We'll see you guys in another couple of hours, I guess. <laughs> okay, so after three hours of battling and doing multiple different things, we created oil pressure in the top end. I was very worried, it's okay. We did multiple different things. We took the bolts out the front of the cam caps where the oil comes up and we filled them with oil to hopefully fill it back towards the pump. We also took the oil filter off and uh, just, just on crank, um, we had the oil come out from the oil filter while cranking it, meaning the pump's doing something. And then after that it worked, but it took us a very long time. Now we're getting the rocket cover on, getting everything else re-plumbed up. Give it a start, wish me luck, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big moment. We're gonna turn the key for the first time and it's gonna work. Isn't that right? You gotta like the video right now if the car starts. <laughs> Post notifications, here we go. Ready? Give it some time. Battery. Fucking battery. <laughs> I just 
the car starts, like and subscribe. <laughs>